Today's sponsor is Advancement Courses. Their spring sale is happening now. So stay tuned for how to save 20% on your summer PD. Episode 501, this is Motivational Monday. Get inspired to write your own story. The 10-Minute Teacher Podcast with Vicki Davis. Every weekday, you'll learn powerful, practical ways to be a more remarkable teacher today. So today we're talking with John Barth, author of the Ride Home in the 1% Journal. Now, John, you encourage people to write their own story. And as we look at the summertime, I guess that's a perfect time to write your own story. What do you mean by that? Yeah, what I mean by that is that I think we all need to look inside of ourselves and figure out what our true purpose is and what the gifts are that we have inside. And especially as teachers, as educators, you know, I think we get caught up sometimes giving to our students and trying to teach them. And when we don't really have that self-awareness of what our true gifts are, what our purpose are, I think it can just become activity. And so writing our own story is about looking inside of our ourselves and making sure that what we're doing is connected to who we are. So is there a methodology you suggest we use to kind of get in touch with our purpose and gifts as we write our own story? Yeah, absolutely. So in my book, The 1% Journal, there are challenges for every day. Um, I have 366 of them, even for a leap year that comes every four years. And they're categorized uh, according to what I call the 12 fundamentals of success. They're actually broken down into six pairs. And each pair has an inside fundamental, a mindset, and an action fundamental, taking daily action in our lives. So I think it's important to have that awareness and to learn and gain knowledge and wisdom, but then we also need to take action and make sure that that action lines up with our mindset. So um, the six pairs of fundamentals are have a vision and pursue your dreams, know your integrity and live by principles, seek excellence and grow character skills, rise above and overcome obstacles, be a lighthouse and lead by serving and seek peace and fulfillment and enjoy the journey. Okay. So John, could you give us an example of, cause I'm sure that you've actually used your journal and use this whole process uh, before you shared it with us. So can you give me an example of from either your life or the life of an educator that you know of reflection that they made and the action they took that changed everything in their classroom? Yeah, I think a personal example from my own life, Three years ago, I went through some adversity and and lost my job as a varsity basketball coach in my own hometown and um, really struggled with that and with my own children. Our oldest child was seventh grade at the time, and we had an incident at one of his games where afterwards I was kind of upset with him, not necessarily about how he played, but kind of his behavior in the stands afterwards. And you know, I kind of said something to him and, and he was upset. And as I was actually journaling the next morning, I kind of came to the realization that, you know, the reason that I did that for my behavior was some of the things that I still was working through in my own life from losing that position. And I'd always kind of thought that I would be coaching him when he got to high school. And because of that situation, that wasn't going to happen. And so I realized that through journaling, you know, and looking at my own mindset, I realized where my behavior was kind of off track. And that didn't really line up with who I wanted to be, the kind of father that I wanted to be. And so after I looked at my mindset, then I was able to take action. And I apologized to him, had a great conversation with him the next day and kind of explained, you know, this is kind of what I've been going through. And and had a really good conversation with him. And it's really helped our relationship since then. So that's an example from my own life where journaling has really helped me out with my mindset and helping me line up my action and my behaviors with that mindset. Well, the truth is, John, is if we live long enough, something happens in our life that was not the way we quote planned it. And we have to learn how to redirect. We can't mourn for something that'll never be, right? Absolutely. And I think, you know, we talk a lot about what kind of person do you want to be or what are your dreams? What makes you happy? And I think sometimes, like in my own situation, 
Sometimes I think we find out that our purpose is something that isn't necessarily what we planned. And sometimes there's a greater purpose out there for us. And so I think journaling helps keep us aware of those opportunities that might be coming along. It's something that maybe necessarily we don't want in our life, but it's something that we need. And if we're really trying to seek excellence, which is living up to our full potential, then I think we need to be on the lookout for some of those situations and how we can grow as a person and develop into the best version of ourselves. You know, John, uh, journaling is one of my keystone habits. It's one of the essential things that I want to do every day. And, you know, I I taught in my hometown for 16 years, actually the school that I graduated from. So 28 years of the 50 years of my life, I was at this one school for a variety of reasons, but just knowing it was the right thing to do, took my son and I went to a different school in a nearby town. And I don't think that if I hadn't had, you know, my journal to share my innermost feelings and process those, you know, how I would have made it through that transition, you know, there's something to be said for just taking your most private thoughts and getting them out on paper, huh? Yeah, absolutely. And, you know, a story from another leader's life that I really love is Abraham Lincoln. During the Civil War, he got quite upset with a lot of his military generals and They have found letters that Lincoln would sit down and write to his generals, uh, pretty blistering letters, you know, um, condemning them for their lack of action a lot of times. But he often would write those letters out and then not send them. And just like you said, I think it's a way for us to process our feelings. Sometimes that's when great things happen, but also when bad things happen. And so I think it's a great thing to be able to get our feelings and emotions out. And sometimes when we do, we realize how silly some of our thoughts and behaviors are, and it can really help us start moving in the right direction. So, John, as we finish up, would you give teachers a pep talk and encouragement to use a journal to help their lives progress and move forward? Yeah, I think, you know, on some level, every teacher and educator wants to have an impact on students. And I think the best way to do that is to look inside of ourselves and create a better version of ourselves every day. And, you know, there's a lot of technology out there, a lot of different systems that are thrown at teachers. And I think if we really want to increase our impact on students, then we need to look inside of ourselves and use the gifts that we have to teach the heart of our students. And I think that's how we will have the greatest impact on kids and we'll be able to live a successful life, not just as a teacher, but as a human being. So educators, as you look towards this summer, why don't you try journaling and check out John Barth and his 1% journal. Thanks, John. Thank you, Vicki. Now is the perfect time to plan your summer. Go to advancementcourses.com forward slash cool cat and use the offer code cool 20. That's C-O-O-L 20 and get 20% off your summer PD courses. That's just $120 per graduate credit hour or $160 for 50 clock hours. You can take courses on helpful topics like social emotional learning, classroom management, teacher wellness, special education classes, and more. You have over 240 graduate level courses to choose from in 19 different subject areas. Go to advancementcourses.com forward slash cool cat today and use the offer code cool 20 to get your 20% discount. Tell your friends and plan your PD today. Thank you for listening to the 10 minute teacher podcast. You can download the show notes and see the archive at coolcatteacher.com forward slash podcast. Never stop learning.